Oh shit, she said, what? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Chow Bella's Kitchen here in Brooklyn, New York. This episode is dedicated to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. If you can't be with your mom today, your mom would want you to eat something delicious, honey. I'm going to show you how to make simple, sexy banana bread, Chow Bella style. Everything you see here, you should be able to get at your local bodega. Let's do this. First things first, go ahead and pour yourself a nice hefty glass of wine. You know, your mom would want you to get loose. I'm drinking out of a box. And then we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 325 degrees, okay? We're gonna mix our dry ingredients. First things first, we have three-fourths a cup of flour. And these are conventional products. We're using conventional baking flour, conventional sugar, honey. Then we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. Then we're gonna throw in one teaspoon of baking soda, baking soda. half a teaspoon of cinnamon, mm. and half a teaspoon of salt. Bam. We're just gonna whisk these dry ingredients together right in the bowl. All right, let's get started on this ooey, gooey banana mixture. I'm gonna take my rings off for this. It's gonna get a little messy. Three out of four of your ripe bananas, the browner the better, and then you're gonna save the prettiest one for garnish. I think she's the best looking. You're gonna go ahead and put all three bananas right in your bowl. Ooh, that brown bit, we love it. All right, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna use what the good Lord gave you. Mix up these bananas with your hands. You want it to be mushy, mushy, mushy. Get all of it off your fingers, and then go ahead and rinse your hands. We're gonna go ahead and take four ounces of butter, which is one stick of butter. We're gonna melt it on the stove top. You don't wanna brown the butter, so you wanna slowly melt it on a low heat. And while that butter's melting, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. You have two eggs, crack them, throw them right in. Mmm. I'm using oat milk, but almond milk, coconut milk, even cow's milk, whatever kind of milk you're working with. Half a cup, right in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of vanilla extract, honey. Mmm, mmm. We have one stick of butter being added to this mix. For all my dairy-free queens out there, you can use vegetable oil as a substitute for the butter, the same measurement, equally delicious. And I'm gonna mix all these ooey-gooey ingredients together. And once this is mixed, I'm gonna add in my dry mixture. Now you don't wanna over mix it, okay? Once it's combined, that's when you stop. Ooh, she's getting thicker, honey. We all like to get a little thicker out here. I know I am in this quarantine. All right, I'm gonna get out almost a cup of walnuts. I'm using about three-fourths a cup of walnuts. And I'm gonna give them a loose chop and fold these walnuts into the mixture. Mmm, nutty professor, honey. Who run the world, moms? Who run the world, moms? Who run the mother, mom? Oh, all right, stir it in. If you don't have a bread pan, you can use a cake pan. Go to the store, buy a disposable cake pan. Whatever you have tastes just as good. I'm gonna get out my bread pan, and I'm gonna go ahead and line this pan with coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you can grease her up with some more butter. You can use any kind of oil you have. Coconut adds that nutty flavor. Just give her a nice coat all on the sides because we don't want the bread to stick. And I love coconut oil because she's a moisturizer as well. So go ahead and rub it right in your hands. Ooh. And then we're going to add our cake mixture into the pan. to scrape every last drop of this cake mix. We saved a banana for garnish. Cut it in half, hot dog ways. I'm gonna put our face open right on top of this dish. Oh, I'm gonna salvage this other broken banana. We're gonna just place her right in. She's had better days, but so have we all, right? I have some maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, some honey. We're just gonna give a nice Drizzle of this maple syrup on top of this banana. Ooh! This is where we're gonna get that extra caramelization right here. We're gonna go ahead and bake her just like this in our oven at 325 for an hour and 15 minutes. Now, you're gonna give her 
the test of a toothpick. If you stick a toothpick in after an hour and 15 and she comes out clean, that's when you know it's ready. If she's dirty, bake her for a little bit longer, but an hour 15, should be perfect. Your mom's gonna be so proud of you, honey. She couldn't have made it better herself. Let's go. And now, do what you gotta do. Call your mom, FaceTime with her. You have an hour and 15 minutes to spare. I'm gonna drink some more wine. I'm gonna think of all the things I'm grateful for in this life. This one's for you, mom. Mwah. I just stuck the toothpick in. She passed the in-traction, extraction test. I'm gonna go ahead and take her out of the oven. Oh, she is golden brown. She has risen, honey. God lives. It's a woman and she's tall. I know you're starving. I know she smells so delicious. We're gonna let it cool for at least an hour. Don't touch it. It's worth the wait. I have let my banana bread cool for an hour. It smells so delicious. I can't wait anymore. My goodness gracious, she smells like sex. Very carefully, you're gonna flip her into the palm of your hand, upside down, shake her out. Stick her right on the cutting board. Oh, look at that, clean. You ready to see the marbleization? And she's just gonna get better with age, just like all of us, right? Oh, my goodness. Look at all those nuts, this beautiful caramelization color. Should we try it? Mm. I feel like I just hugged my mom. To all the moms, all the grandmoms out there, we love you. Thank you so much for your service. Make this banana bread, you won't regret it. Ciao, Bella.